The streets and the place where I'm from are confusing. In Birmingham, Alabama, on one side of the street, the streets have one name, and on the other side, they have another name. You may know what I'm talking about. There are divisions in turns and names that weren't made with reason, but more shady, arbitrary inclinations. And that makes a city hard to navigate. And there's one specific feature of our streets that's not unique to Birmingham, but it's called a five-point intersection. It's in a five-point intersection that a story takes place that I want to tell you today, a story about finding the will of God. You see, there was a saint who used to live in Birmingham, and she had a lot of followers. And there was one such day that this saint was going with one of her followers, a young man, trying to find what the will of God for them to do was for that day. And they came to this five-point intersection, and the young man stopped, and he pulled out his map, and he looked at it, and he looked around, and he looked at the street signs, and he looked in all of the different directions, and he didn't know where to go. And he turned to the saint and said, what are we supposed to do? Where are we supposed to go in every single direction? There is more than enough trouble. And the saint looked at him and smiled, knowing, saying, you still have much to learn. So the young man pulled out his map, he straightened up his pack, and looked at it again, and looked up and down the streets again. But unsatisfied, he turned back to the saint and said, I don't know what to do. He looked for any sort of sign, any sort of signal that would have told him where to go. But it wasn't there. So she looked at him and she smiled again, knowing what was going on, and said, let this be a sign. Spin around. Just start spinning. And I'll tell you when to stop. And depending on which direction you're facing, that's where we'll go. And there we'll find the will of God. He was confused at first, but he did what she said, and he spun around, and he spun around in circles, feeling a bit childish. And suddenly he tripped over himself, and he just said, stop, okay, I can't, I can't do this. How is something so childish supposed to tell me the will of God? And she laughed at him and said, you know, if you remember what you've been told. So now keep spinning, and we'll see what happens. So he kept spinning, kept spinning, with a little bit more time, and a little bit more dizziness, and finally she told them to stop, and they were facing north. So they went and walked north, and they went and did what they do, and they realized that the Spirit of God was upon them, because God had anointed them to proclaim good news to the poor, to set the captives free, to preach recovery of sight to the blind, and freedom to the oppressed. So they clothed the naked, and they fed the hungry, and they did all of these things and realized that they had found the will of God and it was right under their feet. 